All right, all right, all right, all right. So, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. It's your boy Techniques, and of course, the summer's heating up with a lot more Sparking Zero content. Brian never stops, so we have to go ahead and post up all the information that we get as it comes in. And now that more official content is coming out, instead of just people talking and uh, regurgitating literally, literally pictures and audio and what everybody else says now official confirmation of things have come out forward to reacting to the showcase mod that they dropped for dragon ball spark zero i also look forward to uh dodo doya's series x afro senju's showcases as well they played the demo and needless to say from what i heard it's supposed to be uh it's, it's generational dragon ball spark and zero is set to be the best 3d arena fighting game ever created that's not even an understatement that's what i said the last time and as far as the hashtags go as far as what i've seen on my twitter uh because i literally just been off twitter um i feel like it's it's imperative to understand that um Dragon Ball's Park of Zero is different. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero no main producer no Kuritani to me. Main producer no Ezoni Mari Masa Tori Ponsakwa Jugas Tokani has by Kete Tashmasta. Juna Tokani. O and Stikos at the Irina Samaniwa Aratamite Kansha Moshagimas. I gotta go put my order in because I do want this collector's edition. Episode battle and custom battle, which we're not able to show off completely in the trailer. Okay. Episode battle. In this single player mode, you can take the point of view of eight different characters. Eight different characters. Okay. For each stage, you'll be playing through an introduction before heading into some of the most iconic fights in Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Okay. The number of stages in battle vary by characters. For example, Goku has the largest numbers of stages, obviously being the main character. From where he fights Raditz all the way to his fights in the Tournament of Power. Oh, ah, that's gonna be fucking crazy! The goal of this was a mode to allow players to satisfyingly challenge Faced by characters in their perspective, additionally, certain Wow, that's insane! Hey, yo! That's crazy. That's wild. That's fucking insane. You can see it from their point of view. Okay. Heavily fucking with that. Certain stages, depending on your action and choices, players will be able to change the outcome of the story that differ from the anime series. Yo, this shit is moving. It. The fact that this game is actually being shot in true 60k, for uh, in 4k 60 frames per second, that shit is crazy. But not only that, not only that, it seems that the game can actually. Uh, that the that the actual game is going to be uh can be played at 144. But this part right here, you see how 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 Vegeta is moving. He, that, 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 that great ape form is moving stupid smooth. So I, I'm I'm figuring that this game is probably can, this game could probably play at uh, the 120 uh, frames per second. Play for the battle that each have their own original scenes. Within the custom battle, there is a bonus battle mode where we progress our original battle situations as well for you to enjoy. In this mode, some battles will have different victory conditions. Some might have even cutscenes, so you'll be able to enjoy different battles from the different from the norm. In that mode, you'll be able to freely set the characters to be played as. Well, as a pre-battle and post-battle cuts. Edit mode. プレイヤーの皆様が自由に設定してオリジナルのバトルを作ることができます。オッケー。そして作ったものは、
あ、わあ。エクストラバトルを含め、既存のバトルをカスタマイズして、新たなバトルを作ることもできますので、ぜひいろいろなバトルを作って遊んでみてください。以上エピソードバトルカスタムバトル2つのメインの紹介でした。That's I'm just wondering how deep the custom battle situation is going to go. That's, all, that's my only thing. オフラインバトルに関してもお話ができればと思います。Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Local multiplayer battling. Yeah. Of course. Our focus for this game was seeing how far we could get players to really become Dragon Ball series characters. <clears throat> we wanted to show effects like the wind blasting around and the weather changing just by charging your key. Now, the force of battle and taking advantage of the power of the later generation of the consoles. Alright, so basically. It is going with what it's going exactly with what I stated as to why they were including local local multiplayer. Now, they also took it out of the fucking PlayStation, so my video still stands. I should have kept the fucking video up. Cause I knew when we saw it, I think I, I called it. I said, yo, there's something going on with that. Because if it's saying it there on the PlayStation thing, and then all of a sudden it's just like they 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 they, they were told to eliminate it. It's because they were trying to That in mind, it was difficult. So basically, here is the explanation as to why they were they weren't trying to do it. All of the effects, including everything else, would have caused like、uh, issues with the split screen and trying to like reproduce the same effects. You know it, that that that'll work accordingly and work correctly together on a split screen thing. So I kind of called it as to why they were saying they, they shouldn't have. Local, Dude, but it had it in the other ones, and who gives a f I am going to say this now on this video because it fucking sucks that I, I, I have to be the one who has to point this out. I want to know how often you're going to be using the local multiplayer. That's all I want to know. All I want to know is how often you guys are going to be using the local multiplayer feature because I guarantee you, majority of tournament organizers are going to be online. And if you start hosting local Dragon Ball Tenkaichi tournaments, bro, you gotta have some pull to do that shit. In order for you to like host locals that, that at first may not be taking that series until, unless someone like, you know, like, like, like it does become, an, it, it does come out as the package, as a fighting game, as a super fighting game package, like I'm, like I'm mentioning. You gotta look at it what I, with what I'm saying. I get it why they said no, P, no local PvP. Because everything that they're saying here is the reason why they said at first that they weren't gonna do it. They were like, yo, listen, it's nightmare fuel. Yeah, we're, 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 to give you guys the same experience as you got playing online to play offline is going to be a nightmare fuel and the game is not gonna work correctly. Now let's see exactly what they're talking about with the PvP action. Because I heard that they only gave us the hyperbolic time chamber and I saw that in the V jump scans. See, it was local implement multi while retaining those core elements. With that in mind, so we developed this game with online multiplayer and an online single player mode in mind. See? Nightmare f e e l however, we have always wanted for as many players to be able to possibly enjoy the game in various situations. After cons careful consideration, we have decided to implement the split screen multiplayer mode, right? Exclusive within the hyperbolic time chamber stage. But you want to see something? Bro, look. Look how they look here, right? Look how they look here. This is beta footage. I guarantee you, this is beta slash alpha footage. Because if you look at the background, that hyperbolic time chamber background is trash. Literal, literal placeholder. So this is just beta footage. So I'm not going to give them too much heat off of this shit because I know this is placeholder and just testing. But just look at the quality of like the, 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 The models in this in this thing is lower down, so the quality polygons and everything is lower down in this in, in, in this thing. It is what it is. We got it. I'm not gonna say anything because the thing is, 
with all the feedback and all the information and or us fighting for it, because I did want it in the sense of like, yes, but it has to be right. It can't be this. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be like, eh. And, 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 and because of that, that's where, that's where my thing was like, well, yes, you'll have some friends come over and then you'll probably be like, hey, you want, you want me to whip your ass with some Dragon Ball? And they're like, you're talking about fighters? Or you're like, no, Tenkaichi. I haven't played that shit in years. Blah, 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 blah. That's usually the, the excuse that comes out, blah, blah, right? And then, okay, you can boot it up and you have it locally. That's cool. I'm just saying in the sense of the overall product, I'm like, if you didn't incorporate it now and then incorporate it later down the road with all the assets being fixed and everything being worked on, cool. Now you, now you please the core audience that wanted this locally, but then you have people who are now totally fucking pissed that, oh, we can only play in the hyperbolic time chamber and everybody's saying the same shit, that this is a fucking beta. There's a beta stage. That's all it is. It's a beta stage of, of PvP. They're basically still fixing all the bugs for all the stages and all the shit. So yes, now we now we know that there is a roadmap for PvP as well. On release date, is this game going to be balanced out with all the fucking characters for this PvP for, for, for this PvP side of things? <laughs> Or are we going to get hoed and basically the only thing you're going to see in PvP online slash offline if, if, is like, okay, don't pick, don't pick Goku, don't pick Goku early. At the end of the day, it's there and I'm happy for it and it is what it is. Who wants to hear some good news?